Okay, let's make this video. So today morning, I woke up and everything was fine. I went to work and I was chewing on a piece of gum. And that's when something sharp came in my mouth. And again, the gum is not sharp. The gum is soft. So I removed the gum and I removed the small piece. And that small piece was a piece of tooth. And frankly, I knew exactly where it's coming from. It's my last tooth here because that tooth did have a crack in the middle and it looked black and ugly. So I knew that's what it is. And when I checked in my work mirror, I was at work. It was exactly the spot I thought it's missing. And you know what? It wasn't hurting me at all. So I'm like maybe it was a chip tooth it's gone who cares no two hours later i started feeling pain like a dull pain constant dull pain every time i tried to rest my my upper jaw and my lower jaw so even right now i'm trying to keep my jaw like like not pressurizing or clenching onto the lower jaw and yeah, that's when I knew I have to go to the doctor. So luckily, I did get a doctor's appointment today. And I did go in. And this is how much it costed me. It costed me a lot. So the treatment name is called Exam, Diagnosis and Treatment Plan. That was, the charge was $89. However, because my company pays 85%, $75 out of it, the company is gonna pay. And the next thing they did was a single film radiograph, intraoral, peria, pickle, basically an x-ray. And that costed $40. And again, because my company is paying 85%, I got $34 in benefit. So the total amount I I did pay from from my pocket is $129. However, the insurance is going to pay me back $109. So technically I'm just paying $20 for today's visit. But that is the cheapest thing that has happened because my coverage is only up till $1,500 and a root canal costs so I have two, two, tooth, that, two teeth that is giving me an issue the back tooth the doctor saw and said oh this cannot be saved it has to be a root canal a root canal costs freaking thirteen hundred seventy seven dollars and the whatever tooth colored bonded whatever the gel or whatever they put inside the filling is four hundred and fifty six dollars so the total is eighteen hundred and thirty three dollars and after a root canal you have to get a crown or a ceramic jacket whatever they call it and the price of that is $1,073 and the lab fees is $340. So $1,413 for the crown. So yeah, my company will only give me benefit up to $1,500 and here I have to spend almost $4,000. And this is for one tooth. If the doctor, so the other tooth, which I said the second tooth, which has the issue, the doctor is going to try to go deep tomorrow, which is going to charge again another $146. That is called first tooth carries. I don't know what that is. So that's an additional $146. So the doctor is going to go deep into the second tooth to see if the second tooth requires a root canal as well or not. 
if the doctor goes inside and sees that oh it you can fix it with a filling then it's going to go to a filling and a filling will cost 456 dollars but if the doctor tomorrow finds out that the second tooth also requires root canal he's gonna go deep inside and he's gonna remove everything from inside so that's gonna be a second root canal so four thousand four thousand eight thousand and two two times 146 almost ten thousand dollars i'm exaggerating it's not ten thousand um is going on my teeth in one sitting i don't know and you know what in the end of the day i'm traumatized i hate dentists it's always painful it's just i hate dentists so yeah tomorrow my appointment is at 4 30 in the evening and let's see what happens i'm just hoping that it's going to be one root canal and the other one i'm hoping that it is just a filling and it's not as deep but i don't know i don't know and i knew the last one is gonna get broken like it was bad i hate my dentist the one before who ruined my teeth um I can't help it and this is what happens the moment you turn 30 you have to start getting these stupid root canals and 10,000 things um, so yeah I will vlog again tomorrow when I'm at the dentist and I'll keep you updated how it goes at this moment I'm extremely scared I hate the the numbing numbing injection that they give the anesthesia Oof, it hurts so so freaking much like you can stab me 10,000 times on my body I don't care but the freaking gum anesthesia oh. anyway it's 10 30 now and I think I'm gonna go to sleep early today cuz I'm I don't know what to do tomorrow so I just got done with work and I'm off to home but I'm gonna remove my makeup and wear some comfy clothes and then go off to get my tooth stabbed oh my not tooth stabbed to get my root canal done i am so freaking scared i don't want to get root canals So I'm still numb, but I didn't have to get a root canal. I mean, the doctor went down to both of the teeth and yeah, I didn't need a root canal. And it costed me 700 and $790, but 85% of that is gonna get covered. So yeah, that is amazing. I'm so happy. Um, yeah, I just hope now the healing is better so yeah so what do you really learn from this video do not stress i stressed all day at work today literally every department i went to i asked them if they've got a root canal and yeah i think i shouldn't have stressed so much um but again the doctor said like if the pain increases I didn't have any pain to begin with um, the next day but if it increases then we'll have to go to a root canal but for now this filling should last another three to five years so yeah filling is gonna last forever it is almost 10 o'clock at night and I remember I got my freezing at five approximately now I did get two shots because the first one did not really work but it's been five hours and I still 
the still numbness around my lips and my tongue so I'm just kind of having some soup but I just wanted to come here and say thank you so much for watching this video if you've been here this long and I really feel much better like the experience at the dentist was really good I liked all the receptionist I liked I really liked the doctor I actually booked a full exam I'm gonna switch my dentist from Mississauga to Burlington and um, yeah it was it was a good experience like I told the doc told the dentist how scared I was of the needle and he I don't know how he did it like he did it really well like they put a numbing gel first which did not help that much but he did a great job I have to say that like it was nothing like when I got my tooth extractions molar to not molar wisdom to smaller the pain was nothing compared to that so yeah it was a very good experience and thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will be back soon lots of love take care of your teeth especially yep i'm gonna sleep now good night